It's that time of year. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Today, we are going to learn some interesting facts and history about Thanksgiving. I will also be adding in some fun tidbits about pumpkins, and we are also going to make my favorite part of the traditional Thanksgiving meal, pumpkin pie. So please put on your aprons, get your whisks warmed up, and by the end of this video, you'll be a pumpkin pie pro. According to the History Channel, the American concept of Thanksgiving was developed in the colonies of New England, but its roots can be traced back to the other side of the Atlantic Ocean. In ancient times, the Egyptians, Greeks, and Romans feasted and paid tribute to their gods after the fall harvest. Historians have also noted that Native Americans had a rich tradition of commemorating the fall harvest and feasting and merrymaking long before Europeans set foot on their shores. Thanksgiving wasn't always a prized holiday like it is today to most Americans. In 1827, magazine editor, author, and writer Sarah Hale launched a campaign to establish Thanksgiving as a national holiday. For 36 years, she published editorials and sent scores of letters to governors, senators, and other politicians. Finally, Abraham Lincoln heeded her request in 1863 at the height of the Civil War. He scheduled Thanksgiving for the final Thursday in November, and it was celebrated on that day every year until 1939. President Franklin D. Roosevelt had another idea. He moved the holiday up a week in an attempt to spur retail sales during the Great Depression. Roosevelt's plan, known as Franksgiving, was met with passionate opposition, and in 1941, the president reluctantly signed a bill making Thanksgiving the fourth Thursday in November. The book, Thank You, Sarah, The Woman Who Saved Thanksgiving, by Laurie Anderson and illustrated by Matt Faulkner, is a great depiction of this journey that Sarah started many years ago. Whoa, did you hear that? That was my stomach. Let's get the oven preheated to 425 so we can get the pie in there stat and start the Thanksgiving dinner. Did you know that U.S. farmers grow more than 1.5 billion pounds of pumpkin each year? And they are low in calories, fat, and sodium, and high in fiber. They're a good source of vitamin A, B, protein, iron, and potassium. I think it should be a pumpkin a day keeps the doctor away. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, the largest pumpkin pie ever baked weighed 2,020 pounds and measured just over 12 feet long. It was baked on October 8, 2005 by the New Bremen Giant Pumpkin Growers in Ohio and included 900 pounds of pumpkin, 62 gallons of evaporated milk, 155 dozen eggs, 300 pounds of sugar, 3.5 pounds of salt, 7 pounds of cinnamon, 2 pounds of pumpkin spice, and 250 pounds of crust. Wow! Now that the oven's preheating, let's go over the ingredients and get them together. We need 3 fourths cup sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, 1 teaspoon ground cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of ground ginger, 1 fourth teaspoon ground cloves, 2 large eggs, 1 can of Libby's pure pumpkin, 1 can of carnation evaporated milk, and 1 unbaked 9 inch deep dish pie shell. Whoa, that was quick. I see that you have all the ingredients ready to go. Let's bake this pie. Next, you're going to mix the sugar, salt, cinnamon, ginger, and cloves into a small bowl. Put the sugar mixture aside and start laying out the pie crust into the pie tin. You're going to take your index and thumb finger and do a pinching motion with the excess dough. This is called fluting. Beautiful! Next, you're going to whisk the eggs in a large bowl. After whisking the eggs, don't forget to wash your hands. This is a positive health behavior that can prevent the spread of illnesses, including foodborne illness like salmonella. After you've washed your hands, stir in the pumpkin mixture, and then the sugar mixture. 
Make sure everything's evenly incorporated and scrape the side of the bowl too. Cautiously and gradually stir in the evaporated milk. Mix until smooth. Pour mixture into pie shell. I've found that it helps with a very full pumpkin pie to put it on a cookie sheet, which will help prevent the overspilling and bubbling into your oven. Bake in a preheated oven at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes. Reduce the temperature to 350 and then bake for 40 to 50 minutes or until a knife inserted in the center comes out clean. Cool on a wire rack for two hours. Once the pie is cooled, serve immediately or you can refrigerate. And don't forget the most important part of all, the cool whip.